Ben yaş ya. So I'm just outside the marketplace and I'm going to go buy some lapas. This is basically where all the fresh produce is. So you may be wondering what lapas are. Lapas in English are called limpets. They're basically the small cone-like shells stuck to the side of rocks. They have a very sweet and savoury flavour, a little bit like mussels. I literally adore the hustle and bustle of the fish market in Madeira. It's a shame as they are nowhere near as busy uh, as they would be normally due to COVID-19. However, this is the place to buy those sweet and delicious lapas. So I'm currently on my way to try and find a traditional lapas frying pan, which I've been wanting anyway for a long time. Um, so wish me luck. So I've picked up my frying pan, going to go cook some lapas. As you can tell, it's a beautiful sunny day, as always in sunny Madeira. Welcome to Cooking Like Ramos. Today I'm on the beautiful island of Madeira. As you can see, the views are absolutely spectacular. And I'm gonna be cooking a very traditional dish, which is called lapas. In English, in translation, it would be limpets. But here it's an absolute delicacy. The ingredients I've got, I've got today for you are, if you come close to here, I've got some beautiful, fresh, local limpets from the island of Madeira. A little bit of alvarino, that's for us to drink, which is a verde. Some parsley, fresh lemon, garlic, and a little bit of our fresh baldukak, which is our local bread. I'm gonna prepare the ingredients. So I'm gonna start off with the lemon. I'm just gonna simply, if you come close to here, just gonna simply cut the lemon into wedges. Because all we're gonna do is squeeze that lemon straight into the dish, right towards the end. Okay. The parsley, I'm just going to chop up. Right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to cook lapas. So first thing you've got to do is you get your traditional frying pan. If you can't get one, just use a normal frying pan. So, place it onto the fire, if you follow me. Now this isn't absolutely level, but it will work anyway. Make sure you get, get it to a quite a high heat. It's gonna take a couple of minutes to cook, it doesn't take long. And make sure you've got your garlic butter ready, really important. Now these frying pans are quite thin, um, so they heat up quite quickly. Get your lapas, and you're gonna go straight down. Pick them up, pop them straight into your hands, like so. 
so that they're ready to go. Try and sometimes they glue, glue to each other. Just want to separate them so they cook properly. Okay, so I've got a fair few in my hand. You want to go in to the pan clockwise if possible. The smell already is unbelievable. Don't overcrowd the pan, obviously, and let that cook for a minute or so before you add the garlic butter. Look at that amazing garlic butter. Give that a little bit of a mix. So, if you come over here, get close to the lapas, you can see that it's now, as it's starting to cook, the actual meat, the protein itself, is now starting to separate from the shell. That's an indicator that it's starting to cook. Now, I'm going to start basting it with garlic butter. So, if you follow me, Literally, we're minutes away. From, well, a minute away from finishing. Make sure you get a little bit of butter on each one of those lapas. You can see they're now separated. Give it 30 more seconds, and this will be ready. I can't wait for me and Paul, my cameraman for today, to try these amazing lapas. I think they're ready. You got half some pool? I would love to. Squeeze that lemon, baby. Absolutely beautiful. Your lapas are ready, as simple as that. A couple of minutes to cook them, a little bit of garlic butter, a squeeze of lemon, some parsley. I think I'm gonna enjoy one with a bit of wine. Looking at that beautiful view, what do you say? Follow me. Cheers. Beautiful. What do you say, Paul? Man, I've worked hard for these and they look absolutely <laughs> good. So you're going to take up being a cameraman? Oh man! <laughs> hey, can't believe this. Thank you very much. No worries. What do you reckon? Good? Oh, lovely and tasty. Love it. You converted me. <laughs> Here we have it. Lapaz with garlic butter. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below if you've ever tried Lapaz. And don't forget to like the page. Until next time, peace.